Hey everybody, Tom Hazard again from Linux Academy and I have Chad Kroll joining us again and we are here at Microsoft Ignite and we are going to uh, ground off our discussion on the brand new Azure certification exams that were announced today, um, finishing off with the new 300 series that they have announced. So Chad, why don't you fill us in on what's going on with this brand new 300 series? Yeah, so a lot of announcements today, one of them being the Azure 300 level certifications, which are the um, expert level um, Azure certifications, and they are split up between the AZ 300 and 301, and the 302 being the bridge exam, which is going to uh, be the filler between the uh, previous exam, which was the 7535, and, and the kind of new classes of certification that we're going into. Uh, so, so this one, so the three-inch levels are replacing the 7535 exam? Yes. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, so you can take the 7535 until the end of the year, and you'll be uh, able to to bridge that gap as far as the uh, the new learnings and the new objectives um, in the in the uh, in the AZ 302. Uh, a lot of announcements today, so hard to keep track of all of them. And so um, you'll be able to uh, take that bridge exam, and you'll be in that new kind of classification. So for the uh, the 300 and 301, what are really kind of the high level items that those those exams cover? Yeah, so the AZ 300 is uh, expert level, so you have to know how to really uh, account for business objectives. So it covers RPO, RTO, RLO. Um, you have to know about site to site, site to point, um, and, and some of those um, higher scale uh, business objectives that you're trying to achieve when, when uh, trying to architect a Azure environment. How about the other 301? Yeah, the 301 is, uh, is more of the kind of um, uh, VPN and uh, VPN gateways. Um, you know, getting to go through some of the... Is that more networking focus on, on that particular exam? Or? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, VNet peering and uh, basically on, on, a, on a grander scale as far as uh, connecting different regions and uh, different uh, availability zones, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, it's, it's an expert level, so it goes into uh, pretty good depth with, with pretty much everything. But um, in general, they, they basically took the 7535 and they cut it in half. So it's a, it's a split between the two, being that the 535, based on the, uh, based on the feedback uh, from, from previous students and exam takers, um, it was just too too long, too too much to uh, to bite off and, and uh, contain too much information for one exam. So they split it up into the two. Okay. So uh, I mean that completes our summary of everything that occurred today with Microsoft Azure certifications and. What you can look for is more details coming from Linux Academy. Look to our blog over the coming days and weeks for more information on these various exams, what the changes are, more, spe more specifics on them. So again, these were just announced today you know, within the last few hours, so we're still wrapping our headings around exactly uh, what's in them, what the changes are, and so we wanted to just bring you the quick updates, the quick highlights so we can keep you informed. Then we're going to go into some, uh, some more deeper dives into what those are in the, the coming days and weeks. So stay tuned to LinuxAcademy.com, and we'll see you all later.